We spend our entire lives writing this book, the book of our lives, filling the pages with experiences of love, pain, fear, and happiness. And when our loved ones pass, we treat it like the end of their story. Instead, I urge you to honor the pages. He gave his all until the very end, and we owe it to him and the others tragically killed to pick up where they left off. In those times that you think of Josh, that make you cry will soon make you laugh, will bring a smile to your face. So if you really want to honor him, please help me by maintaining his legacy through Andrew. Help me teach him about who his daddy was and what he meant to each of you. We all owe him a debt that can never be repaid. I only hope we can live in his honor and as Andrew gets older, tell him the stories of why his dad meant so much to us all. Rest easy, Josh. We have it from here. Hundreds of law enforcement officers from agencies across North Carolina gathering in Uptown Charlotte today to say their final farewells to CMPD officer Joshua Iyer. This comes just as a procession wrapped up not too long ago honoring U.S. Marshal Task Force member Sam Pelosi. Queen City News has crews live all across Charlotte covering today's events. We begin with Queen City News reporter Casey Jones in Uptown. And Casey, how is Officer Iyer being remembered? Well, there were tears, there were laughs. The entire funeral service was a tribute to the law enforcement profession and, of course, honoring Officer Iyer's ultimate sacrifice. His law enforcement colleagues say he was one of the best. So With heavy hearts and sorrows, hundreds of loved ones and law enforcement celebrate the life of Officer Joshua Iyer. Officer Josh Iyer, you are honorable. You are noble. Officer Iyer, you represent everything great about this badge I wear over my heart and this patch I wear on my sleeve. You may be physically gone from us, but your spirit carries on in our hearts. The 31 year old CMPD officer was known for his work ethic and dedication, which he proved down to his last moment when he responded to a call for officers down on Galway Drive in East Charlotte Monday. Josh, like so many others, heard the call on the radio and immediately ran towards the sound of chaos and gunfire because that's who Josh was. Yes, Josh wore two uniforms and the words honor, duty, and commitment were woven into his very fabric and being. Officer Iyer served 12 years in the North Carolina Army National Guard with two deployments in Afghanistan and Kuwait. Officer Iyer was also recognized as Officer of the Month for April. Homicide suspect, he would get you. Stole a sandwich from QT, Iyer's getting you too. No one was safe. No matter what anyone thought, he went out and gave his best no matter the circumstances. Trying out and putting in for positions everyone else was too scared to even attempt. Officer Iyer leaves behind his wife, Ashley, and his three-year-old son, Andrew. Coming up at five, you'll hear what his wife, Ashley, wants Officer Iyer's legacy to be. Reporting live in Uptown, Casey Jones, Queen City News. Casey, thank you. Law enforcement officers have filled the streets of Charlotte to honor one of their own. Queen City News reporter Taylor Young joins us live with the overwhelming support shown for Officer Iyer. And it was really something, Taylor. Yeah, Annie, you know, it's hard to put into words what it was like to witness the outpouring of support for Officer Iyer, his family, and CMPD actually took an ongoing list, made an ongoing list of all the agencies that we spotted out here throughout the morning and afternoon. It takes up an entire page. These agencies are from across the country, from the Carolinas to New York to Texas, Connecticut, New Jersey. It left many people out here absolutely speechless. I mean, it's profound. It's, it's just, I can't believe the outpouring of support for this, for this officer. Law enforcement officers, military personnel, and first responders from across the country becoming one unit in Charlotte's Uptown. Many did not know Joshua Iyer personally, but felt drawn to honor his life. Having been a former firefighter, 
up in New Jersey. I felt you know, the need to come out here and honor this guy for his service to the community. Because it doesn't matter if you knew him or not. It's still that mass brotherhood, mass sisterhood. I mean, it's just a way to honor and um, give respect to those that are fallen. Retired National Guard Staff Sergeant Leah Beesmer Gutierrez did know Iyer. They met over a decade ago as soldiers and have stayed in touch ever since. I mean, there's no words that can't describe him. He was just an awesome individual. Whether they've served alongside him or learned Iyer's name after his death, each man and woman in uniform standing in solidarity to pay their respects. This man gave the ultimate sacrifice for this city. It's one of the saddest days I've ever seen in Charlotte. Now, agencies that were not out here today did help out in other ways. Uh, departments across the region, including Math Matthews, Pineville, and Huntersville, they stepped in to answer calls for service here in Charlotte for CMPD during the time of the funeral. Reporting live in Uptown, Taylor Young, Queen City News.